All right, let's talk about this reality show. So your your parents are in the reality show because you all live together. Yes. You live with your parents. <laughs> yes. Okay, so who's in the house? Name is your parents? Okay, it's my parents, Kevin, my boyfriend, Joe, who's in the audience right there too. Joe and, is our friend and... And just lives there? Just lives there too, just yes. Because... Well, he works with us and he's family. Okay. So. I have people working with me too, but they don't live with me. So. <laughs> They have their own place. <laughs> Joe, get your place. Get your own place. All right. So, okay. So, so it's your. Did your parents <clears throat> want to sign on to be a part of the reality show? They were definitely hesitant, as you would imagine. But we sat them down, and you know, we came to a conclusion that this would be good. We actually, the network asked my dad the same question. They said, you know, why did you do the show? And my dad goes, you know, at first I was very against, but. Maria and Kevin, they talk to us, they say it's a good thing for us to do, so we do. Now, I'm very proud. <laughs> I'm very proud because everybody they're gonna know I after Maria and Kevin every day to get married and have kids. <laughs> like, he's using this as a platform, you guys, to be able to go home to the East Coast and tell all the family in the church, yep, I told them, and, you know, of course, the family in Greece as well. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I was wondering what the accent was. I thought that was just for the storytelling of it, but he has... <laughs> He has an accent. Oh, yeah. I remember. It's cute. Uh, so, all right, so now, why did you want to do a reality show? I, you're, you, there's cameras just in your household. How, why did you want to do this? I really don't know. It's a scary thing. I think that, you know, I love sharing my parents. They're so funny and so cute, and I just love the idea that I am able to take these two villagers from Greece who had no running water, they didn't have shoes to go to school with, and now they're gonna be famous on TV. I think there's something really cute about that. So, you, cause you got into the business, how old were you? Young, right? I was young, I was uh, 21 I think when I moved out here. Mm -hmm. And it was funny cause I always wanted to be on TV and always wanted to do this. And it started with wanting to be Vanna White because my, uh, I used to watch her on TV and she was so glamorous and I thought this was such a cool job. And my mom would be like, Maria, you know Vanna's job is very hard. You gotta know where all the letters, they go very fast. <laughs> And so, wow. and so I was like, well, how do I practice? Because I want this really badly. So I used my Dunkin' Donuts job, and I memorized where all the donuts were. And so when someone would come in and order a dozen donuts, they'd be like, chocolate frosted. And I'd be like, bam, honey dip, bam. And so I knew how to do the letters, but Vanna never quit her job or left. And so yeah. <laughs> it didn't work out, but I got my first job at ET, so that you was went, amazing. You went a different way. <laughs> and what was, it, what was their advice? That, I mean, when you, when you did end up becoming, you know, a part of this industry, what, did the, what was their advice? Oh, my goodness. They had so much advice. Um, I, I wouldn't even be able to start listing. They always would say, Maria, be a good girl. That's my dad always says. Maria, you got to be a good girl. You got to have class. <laughs> I think I did right. You're doing all right, yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. It is called Chasing Maria Menounos, and it premieres March 18th at 10 on Oxygen. And uh, good seeing you all again. Thanks yeah. for, for being here. All right, Joe. <laughs> You'll get some sneak peeks on Extra, too. All right, we'll be back.